Where's Bob? I parked up the block. Oh, what a nice surprise. It's been so long since you've come over in the evening. Not that long. Guess what I just picked up from the drugstore? Toothpaste. The picture's from the trip, of course. Here, look at this one. This is the one I took of you losing that ping pong match. You believe that brown? Smashing. You deserve a Pulitzer Prize for photography. What did you do that for? I've seen enough pictures of the cruise already. What do you mean? I don't need any reminders of the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. The cruise? You can't mean that, Alan. You had a wonderful time. What did you call it? Magical? That was before I realized the consequences in my own stupidity. The only thing magical that I need right now is a voodoo doll of Monica and a bucket full of pins to shove in it. I'm holding an object. Can you identify it? Well, the object is definitely metallic. Definitely. Pointed, sharp. Uh, a man's suit. It's a stick pin. A man's <laughs> stick pin. Correct, oh. oh, Roberto. For this next portion, we're going to need complete silence. I want each of you to think of, think of a relative that is closely related to your everyday life, preferably one that is still living. Then, when Roberto is ready, he will name the names one by one. At that time, I would like for you to stand. While I check the blindfolds, please be thinking of a name. What the hell is this, some sort of a new trick? Just fake it, darling. Say anything that comes to your mind, and I'm sure that they'll go along with it. Are you kidding? I'm going to look a bigger fool than I normally do. Well, better, darling. A, a breathing fool than a dead duck. Look, can't you get a message to anybody out there? I mean, half of Luke's relatives are in the audience. I can't get close to any of them to even talk to them. All right. Give it a whirl. Okay. But we're going to do it my way. Your way? Right. We've got a whole new game for you, folks. You're going to just love this. The name game, it's called. Now, let me think of a name here. Yes, I'm getting a name. Keith. It looks, yeah, it's definitely a Keith. Yeah, a Keith. And another name is coming to mind. Um, Oh, let me think of it. Uh, starts with A. R-V-A, Ave Maria, now that's not it. Ava, Ava! We have an Ava. Ava... Byron, yes. Keith, Ava and Byron. What a sonorous sounding trio. Now, if those three names mean anything to anybody in the audience, please step forward. I don't think it's working. Shall I repeat the names? Uh, that won't be necessary. You've just named my three first cousins. Uh, uh, wow. oh. <laughs> I just knew you'd love it. second son and leader of the cult. The sword rightfully belongs to you, David. Come on, folks. Let's have a round of applause. Silence, Spencer, and show some respect. Oh, uh, you bring it over here, I'll spit on it. That's about as much respect as I can get up for you today, pal. Can't we do something about him, David? He'll be dealt with shortly. What does that mean? You're gonna let us go? A brave assumption at best. Well, why? I mean, you got your sacred little toy. I'm not sure it's worth all the lives that it cost, but you've got it, so just get off my boat. It's not that easy. Why not? There's a gangplank right outside the door. You just step off. And you'll just let us go. Forget the entire incident. 
Are you kidding? Of course. The whole thing has been a colossal drag. I will be so glad for you to take that thing and go away back to the rolling hills of Malkuth. An excellent attempt, Mr. Spencer, but I'm afraid I'm not that naive. Now, what are you going to do with us? Wait, for what? The third member of our triad, he must be revealed to the ambassador before we proceed. Then will you release us? Not until we're safely away with both the sword and the helmet. of the amazing needs another volunteer from the audience, please. Go on, babe, do it. The answer is yeah, no. Someone, uh, you aren't scared, Shirley, are you? Listen, I get nervous in front of crowds. Cool. The only way to conquer your fear is to Brian, face it. Oh. Over here, Tim. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Brian would love to. Uh, Here's your volunteer. Where? Here, me. Yes, but this gentleman over here... This wanted... isn't elementary school, is it? All right. As you like it, sit down and we'll play your game. A wise decision, Miss Hill. Oh, great, Roberto. We now have a volunteer. And what a great volunteer he is. Well, describe him, darling. Well, he's, uh, handsome. And he's always very muscular. A great hunk, this one is. I have the object. Oh. Something wrong down there. <laughs> you bet there is. My wife's what you might call the jealous type. She'll scalp me if she finds out I was this close to a buxom beauty. <laughs> Stupid stuff, Miss Hill. It's a mistake, that's all. Any more mistakes in the audience is going to get more drama than they bargained for. What's that supposed to mean? It means our mutual friend, David Gray, is not adverse to public executions. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we uh, try another volunteer for some more uh, uh, objects? David, where is he? Would you like a drink to steady your nerves? I don't need a drink. I'm not much for waiting, that's all. Look, we have the sword. Let's get the helmet and just be on our way. Not until the third member of the triad arrives, I know. David. I just don't understand. Why have you kept our identity secret from each other? You've known from the beginning, Ambassador Tabriz, the way I work. Yes. Only when the mission is accomplished can you meet. Very well, but when do we expect him? At any moment. Relax. How can he relax? The longer you stay on this boat, the, the more risk you have of getting caught. The WSB is probably on their way right now. The first time since I know you, Mr. Spencer, you're right. I am. Enter. He's here, sir. The maggots? Yes, sir. He's boarding right now. Show him in. Okay. Good. Good evening, gentlemen. Ambassador Tabriz, the maggots. The third member of the triad. Vacations are supposed to help you relax. I thought after all that lying around in the sun, you'd be a lot more mellow. Mellow? You've really got to stop using trendy expressions like that, Susan. Shall I define it for you? I know what it means. But obviously not how it feels. You're wired. I'm wired? There's another cute one. You know, it's a miracle we can talk to each other, considering we barely speak the same language. It's not a language barrier we have. It's a communication problem, and right now is a real good example. I have no idea what's bothering you. Seems that our romantic cruise has put a damper on our romance. Are you sure it's not just your attitude that's getting in the way? There's nothing wrong with my attitude. My attitude is remarkably mellow, to use your terminology. Our little rendezvous did nothing for me. How can you say that? We had a wonderful time. We had warm sunshine, terrific food, dancing in the moonlight. I know you had a good time. So what's bothering you? You're bothering me. You're bothering me because you have nothing on your silly mind except that damn cruise and me staying mellow. As far as I'm concerned, I've given up a great deal in exchange for it. What are you talking about? 
Who was the one person in this world we didn't want to find out about the cruise? Monica. What? She found out? You bet she found out. We were damn fools to think that she wouldn't. She can't prove anything. She can't, huh? I'm not finished. The woman has photographs. The woman has an entire album full of your cute little dimples and my sweet little frowns. How do you know? Because Monica dropped it on me like a ton of bricks and she did it right in front of Lee and Gale. Well, that explains that man who was following us around the island. Right. That man that you said was... Um, just a tourist. Just a tourist. Just a tourist on Monica's bankroll. I can't believe Monica would actually hire a professional photographer. That's amazing. But you know what I don't understand is how she arranged the whole thing in the first place if she didn't find out about us till after we left. There's a telephone on the ship. The woman using that kind of money, what's the big deal? She phones the ship, she finds herself a cute little shutterbug on the ship, and he follows us around the island. I had no idea Monica would stoop this low. Are you serious? The woman's been doing deep knee bends for years. Well, it just makes her all that much more hateful. At least she's not stupid. Are you insinuating that I am? I'm insinuating that I am for agreeing to go on that ridiculous cruise, which, by the way, has got to be the rinkiest cruise ship that ever went on the seas. I mean, it was more like an amusement park ride. You didn't complain then. Because I didn't think about it then. When I reflect on the whole idea of going out, I mean, I can't believe how dumb I was to even let you talk me into it. Alan, you talked me into it. Oh, don't be so stupid. It was you who came to me with the idea, wasn't it? it who was, was it then? It was your father, if I'm not mistaken. My father? Yes, dear, dear. And every time you come, I have to go up there. I'm leaving anyway. No, you're not. Not till we're finished talking. I thought we had finished talking. Well, you might be, but I've still got a thing or two to say. Well, we finally have it. I promised you, Ambassador, I'd have everything under control by the time you arrived. And so you have. Perhaps the greatest accomplishment of the evening is that the three of us have finally met. The three circles have come together at last. Needless to say, Ambassador, I never suspected you as being one of the cult. Needless to say, Mr. Masters, a man in your position involved in the cult, quite good, sir. Hmm. Maybe we can attribute it to Mr. Gray here and his remarkable job of keeping our identity secret. As you can now see, it was well worth it. It was indeed. Each of us, as one of the three circles, are now joined in the eternal chain of power. Our bond is forged. Destiny has prevailed. All we need now is the helmet. And we can return to Malkuth, triumphant. Heroes to our people. David, you've realized your dream of a bloodless clue. You can take over the throne now as rightful leader of the land. Uh, excuse me, guys. I'd love to join the celebration here, but I keep wondering what's going to happen to us. I believe you know the answer to that, Mr. Spencer. I believe I do. Perhaps Mr. Grier's dream of a bloodless coup is not going to happen after all, is it? I'm sorry, Luke. But sacrifices must always be made in any great cause. You're not going to get away with it. Too many people oh. know. And happily, all of those people are here tonight. The explosive is set to go off in 14 minutes. I suggest, David, that you tie these two people up so there's no further interference. Ambassador Tabri and I will go ahead and ready the departure. I have brought along a small force that will uh, ensure our safe getaway. We're still using the same departure plan, of course. Nothing has changed. We'll proceed as planned. Good. Recover the helmet from its hiding place and then join us at the rendezvous point at exactly 20 minutes from now. I'll be there. Let's set our watches. Four, three, two, one, mark. Oh, yes, I say, I say. My, how time flies and we're all having such fun. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, we've only just begun. What is it? Uh, no, it's how do you do time. Is he here? I uh, saw <laughs> No, not actually, darling. It's, it's actually what? time for another volunteer. Oh, um, I thought you were Laura? Yes. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Mr. Hardy. I'm afraid we're a little late for our reservation. The traffic down at the dock was pretty no, terrible. Are you having convention here tonight? There's so many men down there. 
Oh, uh, no, they're, they're the plumbers. Yes, the plumbers. Uh, well, they certainly weren't dressed like plumbers. No, I'd more say they like were more like... Uh, insurance investigators? We're having a convention of them tonight. Well, there hardly seems to be room enough. <laughs> we're putting them on the promenade deck. Uh, your name, sir? Who that is? <laughs> Dr. and Mrs. Hardy. Oh, Dr. Hardy, yes, we have your table. Right here. Just step this way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes. Uh, hasn't anyone noticed how many new people we have in the audience tonight? Yeah. What happened? You, uh, so I, I, you've been blindfolded, darling, but I can see clearly. Can anyone else see as clearly as I can? <laughs> the, uh, the new people in the audience. In fact, uh, we have some here. But not volunteer. Yeah. A volunteer. We want someone that is actually... I'm not very bright. Uh, uh, if, if, I tell you what, excuse me, please. It's going to take a moment for this uh, next demonstration. If you could excuse us for a moment, please. Yeah. What's going on? There's a lot of whispering over here. I think they're getting ready to bolt. Mr. Ambassador. What is it? It's simple, Mr. Ambassador. It's over. What's over? Take him. What is going on here, Master? Let's just say some chains are made to be broken, Tabarese. Get him out of here. Gentlemen, arm your pieces. Well, well, well. What's this, reading on a Friday night? Well, Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Tell me, have you seen Alan, or have you already fed him to the lions? <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance to. He left right after dinner. I don't know where he went. That was too bad. I lost my shirt playing cards at the club this afternoon. I was hoping to recoup some of my losses by playing backgammon with Alan. Ah, oh, he's that easy a mark, is he? You should know. You've taken enough shots at him. And of him. <laughs> Which I assume is the reason that you're sitting here reading tonight. Instead of chasing all over the countryside after him, huh? Well, yes, I kind of think the pictures I have right now are quite sufficient ammunition. You're really enjoying all this, aren't you? You bet I am. In fact, I'm going to be kind of disappointed when it all ends. You know, Monica, I just can't get over the change in you since you've joined our fold. From a wide-eyed ingenue to, uh... Not a hurry, right? Well, I owe it all to you. Me? Mm -hmm. You, your son, uh, your wife, and all the other assorted quartermains that have passed through these halls. Yes, I've gotten quite an education. You sure passed with flying colors. I had to, to survive. Oh, you've done a great deal more than survive, Monica. You've not only achieved our level of adroitness, you have surpassed us. And now, with any luck, I shall be rid of you. Perhaps. Yeah, I think I'll go upstairs. <laughs> Maybe my son has returned. I wouldn't count on it. Sign about? Oh, uh, yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, what's so funny? <laughs> well, I found Ellen. Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you know? Havoc in paradise. Come on, let me see. Come on. Oh. Come on. Holy cow, I hope there are any breakable objects over there. Don't worry, everything in that house is either lucite or plastic. <laughs> Come on, move over. It's my turn. 
What is this? Are we taking turns? We're not playing backgammon, you know. Well, I know, but it's a hell of a sight more amusing. <laughs> oh. uh, hold up a bill, someone. Uh, anybody have a bill of any kind? And anybody I'm sure. Have any money at all? Roberto can. Ah, oh, this gentleman in front. Uh, can you identify it? Well, it feels like a left handed 20. <laughs> I have a bill here. If he can identify it, he can have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, hey, is there another show? Oh, remember, I already yeah. told you they have this really fantastic special act that they've done, and it'll kill you when you see it. Yeah, well, this part is getting a wee bit tedious, don't you think? I mean, I'm not the only one bored here tonight. I think a lot of people are getting bored. How would you like something else to drink? Are you going to order for yourself? Yeah, anything is better than the continuation. Yeah. No, waiter! Waiter. Hard of hearing. Something. Hearing problem. Waiter. Waiter. Come on. <laughs> They're all going to the door. Maybe you can pay the bill this week. All right, I will handle it for you. Soon. You will handle it. It's Ava with guns. Hey. Let's go. All right. Everybody just stay calm and don't panic, all right? This is it. I saw him rehearse this act. Don't be afraid. This is just part of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, you please. Remain in your seats and no one will get hurt. Right. Now, please, don't be afraid. Nothing's going to happen. All right, man. Cool. Please. please. That's far enough. Please. What is this? What's sit going down, on? Pops. Now, you please. listen Nobody to me. Nobody leaves till we say so. Come on, please sit down. I said sit down. Please. Steve, please. Sit down. Please. Sit down. Now remain in your seats very calmly and no one will be hurt. Attention. Your attention, please. This is Secretary Masters of the World Security Bureau. The yacht is surrounded. I repeat, the yacht is surrounded. What's the matter, Gray? Isn't this part of the plan? Come on, Mr. Gray. Hands over your head. Tell your men to drop their guns on the deck and lie face down. The chain's been broken, Gray. The game's over. So it's part of the plan, huh? Silence. You have one minute. Ah. We'll cover for you. Get to it. Come off into the heart of darkness, darling. 